Number 84. What is the effect on the concentration of acetic acid, hydronium ion, and acetate ion when the following are added to an acidic buffer solution of equal concentrations of acetic acid and sodium acetate? And then we're adding sodium chloride, which is NaCl. Now in 84A, I explained how we got this equation right here. So I'm just assuming that we know why we're picking this equation, right? The Acetic acid is what we're starting with, and just like all weak acids, they dissociate to their hydronium ion and their acetate, in this case, the conjugate base, right? So now the first thing that we have to do is just break this apart, right? Well, NaCl, that's a salt, and there's only two elements here, so the break is obviously between the two elements, right? This would be sodium and then chlorine. Now, the thing is, is that generally, one of these ions are going to be in your equation. But if I look here, there is no sodium, there's no Na+, and there's no Cl-. Now, remember that NaCl is a neutral salt, mainly because Na+, comes from NaOH, and since NaOH is a really, really, really strong base, the conjugate that we have, just the Na, is so weak that it's classified as neutral. And then the same thing for chlorine, right? The conjugate would be HCl. HCl is one of your really, really, really strong acids, so the conjugate would be so weak that it's basically classified as neutral. So NaCl has no bearing on acidity or basicity. So it won't be reacting with anything that's going on here. So what's the effect of these concentrations? No effect. There's nothing wrong. Nothing is going to happen. Nothing is going to increase in concentration and nothing is going to decrease in concentration. And that's that. I really hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Hang tight because there's a couple more parts for this number. So I'll be seeing you there. Okay, bye.